Credit River meanders through our landscape, much as it has done for thousands of years. Its lazy course through our modern city belies its importance to early life in what is today the city of Mississauga. To the indigenous Mississaugas, the river was called Misanihi, trusting water, a name derived from the custom of trading on trust or credit. The natural harbor at the mouth of the river has attracted people for countless generations. Over time, the harbor has been a place of gathering, fishing, industry, commerce, and recreation. The indigenous Mississaugas were seasonally drawn to the mouth of the river for harvest of wild rice, salmon, and gathering in the summer months. In 1796, the Crown established a trading post and government inn on the east bank of the river. It was near the inn on August 2, 1805, that the Crown signed Treaty 13A with the Mississaugas, which ceded territory to the Crown. This paved the way for settlement and would begin to shape what later became the city of Mississauga. Always a natural safe haven from lake storms, the harbour proper began when the Port Credit Harbour Company was founded in 1834. The construction of two wharves and a warehouse allowed for the export of goods by loading them onto larger boats that could go long distances to other parts of Canada and the world. In 1835, Robert Lynn surveyed a village plot named Port Credit on the west side of the harbour. The harbour went through a period of tremendous growth until a fire in 1855. The harbour reached its peak between 1880 and 1900 with the stone hooking trade. One of the primary building materials for construction at the time was shale for the bottom of Lake Ontario. The vessels that were used in the harvesting of shale were called stonehookers, and a great many of them were based at Port Credit. One of the most familiar sites in Ernie Harbour is a lighthouse. The first was constructed in 1863 by the Peel General Manufacturing Company under the direction of Frederick Chase Caprio. The lighthouse, which was built on a pier in the harbour, was taken over by the Ontario government in 1882. A 1908 storm separated the lighthouse from the mainland, and in 1918, the lighthouse was closed. The old lighthouse burned in 1936. The present lighthouse was constructed in 1991. It marks the mouth of the Credit River, the historic harbour, and is a reminder of Port Credit's marine heritage.